Welcome to Features in 5, our series of 5-minute lessons about enhancements to Penny, our investment partnership accounting software. In this lesson, we'll explore our Data Imprint feature, which lets you easily output a record of all fields on a custom report. In the next 5 minutes, you'll learn how to output this record of fields to a Penny Data Grid or Excel spreadsheet. You'll also see how this feature provides you with greater reporting capabilities. So, let's get started. First, a little background on why we created the Data Imprint feature. As you know, Custom Reports in Penny let you decide what data is included to meet your specific reporting needs. However, any calculated fields that you add on a custom report are not included in the output to a Data Grid or Excel spreadsheet. Well, a data imprint goes that extra step. It includes all of the fields on a custom report, plus any calculated fields that you add. A data imprint is available for all custom reports in Penny. And, if you license the bullpen in Penny, a data imprint is also available for a bullpen distribution file. So let's take a look at Penny and see how easy it is to output this data imprint. For this lesson, we'll use a Partner Statements custom report. At the top of the report, we click Data Imprint, and the output displays with all the fields from the report, including those calculated fields we may have added. The header row displays all the field names from the custom report, and all the fields are displayed in the same order they appear on the report. Since the data imprint output is displayed in our Penny Data Grid, it has all the standard features. You can filter column data on a value by clicking the filter icon on a column heading, and you can export the data to an Excel spreadsheet by clicking Export. So you see how quick and easy it is to output a data imprint for a custom report. For those of you with the bullpen add-on, you can output a data imprint for a distribution file by simply selecting Data Imprint located near the bottom of the report. There's one more really helpful feature you can use to tailor the output even more. You can name the text boxes on the output to best meet your reporting needs. Again, this is really easy to do. Let me show you. To name text boxes, we use the editing screen for a custom report. In the report body, we select the text box we want to name on the output. Then, we use the tag property to enter a name to display for the text box on the output. Naming conventions for the tag property are detailed in our Penny help file. Then we save the report changes. Now let's display that custom report and look for our newly named text box. We click Data Imprint, and on our Data Imprint output, we see the new text box name. So now you understand how to output a data imprint for even greater reporting capabilities than before. You also know how to name text boxes on the output to meet your specific reporting needs. If you'd like more information, please contact your Client Relationship Manager. You can also visit the Penny Help File that has a wealth of great information on how to use Penny and its features. You can access the help at any time by pressing F1 on your keyboard or selecting Help from the window menu. Well, that wraps up our video on the Data Imprint feature in Penny. Until next time, Thanks for watching our Features in 5.